The freedom of balance. I am under the impression that we, humans, are in a constant search for balance, more than we are on the hunt for happiness. Contrary to what many of our ancestor philosophers have pointed out, those moments of significant bliss can instead cast a shadow on our mundane life by the sheer harshness of the contrast. That is why we don't just look for luminescence. We try, instead, to figure out our existence in a plane on which both it and the obscure can share a table in the diner of our essence without throwing our lives into chaos. Or into the extremes. The extremes are the polarizing edges of the spectrum that leave us feeling alone and misunderstood. We all have our own elements to balance out, our personal monsters to fight, and our specific expectations to live up to. We have to juggle sensitivity and composure, beauty and learning to let go, nature and modernity, past and future, dreams and possibilities, order and chaos, the weightlessness and the depth, body and love, and so forth. We need them all to participate, to reach harmony, to dance together to the rhythm of freedom. We feel enslaved to our shadows until we allow them to be a part of our balance. Freedom can't be found in mayhem. We must lull ourselves in the equilibrium until it becomes time again to break away and delve into the unknown, the uncomfortable, to be able to grow a bit more. Growth is, in fact, a consequence of the journey towards balance. Hello humans, how are you? I hope you're doing phenomenal. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, let me introduce myself. I'm Chiojas, I'm a surreal oil painter based in New York. Today I'll be sharing with you the process painting of this piece titled The Freedom of Balance. This is the second piece of a three painting collection. I'm working right now on the third one of these collection this is the freedom collection so they all go underneath this like concept of freedom and each of them have like a more specific freedom kind of concept underneath the painting like the concept of the creation um, in a side note or a parenthesis before it's been around a year right now since I started painting and decided to share my painting journey with you in this channel. So it's everything here since I started. I came a long way and I'm so, so happy I discovered painting. It's been the best and the worst year of my life. I mean, it's been the best year of my life because I have this new meaning in it is the first year also that I graduated from school I'm doing dedicating myself to what I love and um, being like in power of my own schedule and time and everything and also clearly was a horrible fucking tragic year for all of us because I don't even have to explain that do I <laughs> ah, do I have I always have that um so anyways, yes, this painting, in the technical aspect of it, it's an oil painting, so it made it with oils. I didn't use mediums at all that I remember, so it's just paint. It's a stretched canvas, it's a 30 by 40 inches canvas, like most of the paintings I've been doing since about March. Um, what else? Oh, and it's varnished. I varnished it with Gambar from Gamblin. So it's a gloss finish varnish. It took me around a month to complete. And I worked on it about two hours and a half on average a day. Um, I'm planning to start doing three hours a day of painting, starting with the next painting like the third one of the of this collection so let's see how that goes um 
about the concept of the painting i hope i explained a little bit of it in the spoken words um, but to go like further with it it's so i feel i believe that we are looking for balance more than we're looking even for happiness because balance gives us a peace like peace to our soul I feel we look more for that tranquility and equilibrium than we do for like bliss and excitement although we clearly do want that too but I think like we what we are actually constantly seeking for is this balance um, and the way we can get balance in our life is creating equilibrium balance harmony between our extremities our opposites so in this piece what i was trying to do is to bring together in harmony and hopefully in beauty and um, these juxtapositions so you can see in the painting for example juxtapositions about time and style like even in the style i have like a renaissance classical piece being the statue but also a very classical and naturalistic background with the flowers that's also from kind of like style from those times and but it also combined that with a very vaporwave cyberpunk modern maybe contemporary style so that's the first juxtaposition that you can find here there's also the juxtaposition of nature and man-made like the beauty of the things that are naturally from our world and the beauty of the things we as humans create and there i also with the statue itself which by the way is an angel of freedom and that's why it has the wings and everything um is that it is a marvel so it's a stone thing and i tried it to paint it in a way that it looks like a heat map so trying to represent the balance of our feelings between like having to be tough and i don't know if tough but rational and having like some roughness to you you need that but also being like full of like emotions and feelings at the same time so it's the heat and the stone gosh i'm rumbling this time i should have written <laughs> what i was going to say because i'm like absolutely improvising right now but i wanted it to feel like coming out of my soul and being completely honest and genuine that it's exactly what i'm doing and so yeah And the next painting is going this painting was the most challenging and different that i've done so far and the one that it's coming next is going to be even more different and challenging so i'm pushing myself here <laughs> let me know what you think about these kind of compositions or if you like more the surrealist not simple at all but less I don't even know what to call it actually defying of painterly style thing kind of thing um, and yeah so that being said you if you have any questions or want to know anything just leave a comment I answer to all of them I created um, products with this painting so i have like merch and prints and canvas prints and everything and you can check that in the links below and also the original is still available so if you're interested in that you can find that in my store the link is underneath or you can email me or leave it on the comments or whatever and if you did like this video give me a like that helps me and supports my art a lot and subscribe if you want to see more of this journey and that it
that's all from me, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.